Do you have an issue with your kids getting distracted while doing a sales homeschooling, doing schooling from home because of the pandemic, or even for regular homework? Do they start browsing the web, watching YouTube, or playing video games instead of doing their work? Today I'm going to teach you how to lock down a Windows computer with kiosk mode or assigned access, all for free. When we finish setting this up, they will have a dedicated username with only access to Microsoft Edge and the seller's website. Nothing else. No games, no YouTube, and no distractions. Let's show them who's the boss. So a few months after the pandemic, we decided to take our boys out of public school. They were spending way too much time glued to the computer without getting that much benefit, at least in my opinion. We switched to a Celis Academy for their schooling needs. It's a private school that allows us to homeschool our children while they go at their own pace, watching instructional videos. All that's needed is a computer, laptop, or tablet with an internet connection and some headphones. But if you're here, you probably already know that. So the program and the school are great, but if you leave Windows at the default, kids can install games, browse any website, and watch YouTube while they simply minimize the sellers. In a perfect world, we would keep an eye on the kids 24 seven, but simply not possible. After a few weeks, our kids would pretend they were doing their work, but instead they would minimize the sellers while they play games or watch YouTube. Let's get started on how we fix this. So real briefly, I'm going to go over some of the requirements to set this up. You will need a Windows 10 desktop or laptop with a Windows 10 education or a pro license. Unfortunately, if you have a Windows 10 Home Edition license, this will not work. If you have a Chromebook, this will not work also because that's a different operating system. So just keep that in mind. So here we are in our Windows 10 system. If you want to double check that you have the right license, go to the Windows Start menu, hit the settings, go to system, scroll down to about and here you'll see your edition again you need Windows 10 education or Windows 10 Pro I also recommend you do all your Windows updates first and then begin the process so after you do your updates you want to go to settings search for kiosk assigned access Let's hit get started we're going to name it Acellus. Here we want to look for our browser. Notice how there's two. Uh, you want to go ahead and select this one at the bottom, which is the newest version. If you select the top one, you will definitely have some issues and it won't work. So make sure you select this one. Hit next. For this option, we want to do as a public browser. This way, when they log in, they only see the browser and the Celis website. Here we enter the Celis website. And this I like to change to 24 hours. Hit next. And as you see here, when they're in kiosk mode, in order for the user to exit, do I have to press Control or Delete and either sign off or switch user or shut down? And this is our account. If you also want to set additional settings on this account, such as setting a password, because the way it's set up now, they could just click on the name and sign in. But if you want to set a password, you want to go to Computer Management. And here you'll see the list of all the users and you would set a password here. But for this demo, we're not gonna do that. So let's sign into a Celis. Sign in. Did 
this little step here takes about a minute or two so I'll come back and we are in so it's loading the Celis website and they only have access to this browser so from here they just need to do a student sign in and they'll act, get access to everything I did try doing kiosk mode with the Celis app but I didn't have any luck with it and this method is real simple real easy and it works so there's no reason to try the app for this version so this works and I recommend it if they try to go to another tab it'll take them to the same website if they try to hit the start menu they'll get a blank screen and once they're done all they want all they need to do is hit control delete and either shut down in the bottom right sign out and they are done so thank you so much for watching and I hope it helps some of you and if you like this video please give it a like and try to subscribe I'll be creating a lot more tech content so please stay tuned